Hi everyone, my name is Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. I just got back from Target, you guys. Um, I mostly just got prepper pantry related stuff, things that I can put in my prepper pantry and rotate through. Um, I will quickly go over what I got just to share this with you guys and give you guys some ideas of what you can put in your prepper pantry as long as you eat the items you buy. You know, you buy what you eat and eat what you buy. All right, so I will go over these bags with you. All right, so my first bag, I got some beans and lentils. Y'all, you can never have too many beans and lentils, okay? It's a great source of protein. So say for this one right here, the serving size is one fourth cup of dry lentils and the protein's eight grams. Okay, so I went ahead and got three one pound bags. I got two bags of the garbanzo beans. This one is seven grams of protein for every one fourth cup dry. Got two bags of those. And then I got three bags of pinto beans, which is seven grams of protein for every one fourth cup of dry beans you cook. All right, so that's my beans. Got all those beans. All right, I also bought two things of water at Target. This is the alkaline water and electrolytes with a pH of 9.5. Y'all, I do like the water with a high pH. Um, it's really good for you. Notice when I drink the water with a high pH, like if I have a backache, it, it really helps my back pain. It really does. I don't know if it's just in my head or if it, you know, there's the whole debate about that, but I like it. I, I you know, more than just regular plain water, water with a high pH, I just, I notice it helps with my, like, my pain in my back or arthritis or whatever the case might be it I mean it just it helps all right I also got two of these pot size spaghettis from Target these um you know we rotate through it and any extra like this is extra I'm gonna put in Mahler bags and put it in my long-term food storage for that can last 20 to 30 plus years okay um Mahler bags is a great way to preserve food for long terms you can't preserve everything in a Mylar bag, but some items you can like spaghetti, pasta, um, white rice, sugar, salt, items like that is perfectly fine. I have videos on that. I will try to link right up here somewhere along this video. So keep an eye out for that. I also bought this gluten-free red lentil rotini pasta. Um, I just, I want to try it. So I will eat this one if I like it. If me and my daughter, we like it, I will buy more. I bought some Supreme Matcha Green Organic Tea. Um, I've never tried the matcha green tea before, so I'm going to try this. Um, I think a Jello, A little tiny baby <laughs> cute bottle of 100% pure maple syrup. I got this the last time I went to Target, and I really do like it. It's a very cute tiny little bottle, too. And I think a Crystal Light um, Grape drink mix. These we go through like crazy. These are always good to have on hand, um, especially for the summer months, you know, when you're drinking a lot of water, you might want to flavor that water a little bit. And these are great to have. All right. Also, I got light red kidney beans. I got four cans of those. Then I got four cans of the dark red kidney beans. I put this in my prepper pantry, um, so this is like the new items. I'm going to put it in the back, like I always say, and just rotate through my preps. Use what I have that, you know, that's about to expire within the next several months or year. You know, I always mark my canned goods with the best buy date at the top in a bold marker so I can see it clear as day. I put it on the top, and I put it right in the front. I will show you how I do that at the end of this video. And I just put my newer items in the back of the shelf and I use what's in the front, okay? That's just rotating through your preps. Really good to have. So I need it to stock up on some more beans because I use these for chili when I make my chili. And I just, I like to have a good stockpile of those. Another thing I got is I got, see, three, six cans of the cut green beans. Y'all, this is the Target brand. This too, um, it's the Good and Gather Target brand. And it says right on the front, grown in the United States, which I like. So, of course, I will buy that. Um, so, I got six cans of those. All right, for corn, I got four cans of the cream style golden sweet corn. And also, this one says grown in the USA. I got four cans of those. And then I got two cans of the no salt added golden sweet corn grown in the USA. Got two of those. Then, I also picked up four of these iodized salts. 
I will be putting these into mala bags for long-term food storage. When you put salt in mala bags, you do not need oxygen absorbers, okay? Because it'll just make it rock hard. And um, I mean, you can, you just have to break through it. If you already use mala, uh, oxygen absorbers, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt it, but it is recommended not to use them just so, you know, you don't have to break it apart and so it won't turn like hard as a rock. All right, so that is everything for my haul. I'm sorry, I did not take everything out of the bags. I just, you know, I just got home. I am about to put the dates on all of this. Okay, so as you can see, I quickly went ahead and used my big fat marker here to put the expiration, well, not the expiration date, but the best buy date, the recommended best buy date on the front of the can and also on top of the can. Okay, so when you have it sitting there on the shelf, you can see the date right there, plain as day. You know, you don't have to go looking for it. Get your glasses or a magnifying glass. You know, it's already right there, plain as day, big print easy to read so that's what I like to do with all my cans as you can see y'all I, I it's just it takes a like a minute or two I put the date up here and on the front um I know that might be a little overboard for some people but if nobody notices it right here when they go to open it they will surely notice it right here okay even though these do last way past the best buy date it's always good to have the expiration date or the best buy date on your canned goods just so you have an idea of when they were you know, Best Buy. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put all this away. All these extra beans here, um, you know, we're not going to eat this right away. I'm going to go ahead and pack these into some Mahler bags. Like I said, please don't forget, if you're interested, search for that video of mine. I, I do a lot of long-term food storage videos. Um, I have a few posted, and I will try to link it up here on the card or down below in the description. Look for those. It's beginner-friendly. It gives you a lot of information. Um, go ahead and check those out if you're interested. I do the Mahler bags with the oxygen absorbers and also do the long-term food grade storage buckets to store those in. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this away. I appreciate you watching. Um, so if you made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button, the thumbs up, support this channel. It really helps my channel when you guys do that. I really appreciate you watching. So y'all just prep keep prepping do it little by little um it it adds up okay all right you guys also i have a series of mine here on one of my playlists on my channel um please check that out it is prepping with a ten dollar budget so if this is too much for you to do at once um y'all you can sit down figure out your finances have a budget um i do ten dollars a week with that series because I think that's a safe number that most people can do. If you can't do it weekly, maybe bi-weekly or even monthly. Whatever fits your budget, okay? Do what you can with your budget. Um, so that's a good series. It gives you plenty of ideas, um, some meal ideas, what to get, what, you, what items you can throw together for a meal, that sort of thing. So I'll try to go ahead and link that playlist up here in one of these cards. Go ahead and check that out. That's a really fun series I do enjoy doing. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, you guys. Thanks for watching, and take care.